everyone welcome to the ruby league history channel and welcome to me round 16 tips of the 2022 nrl season normally i just do a couple of voice recordings and a couple of slideshows for me videos but for this particular video i'm going to appear in front of the camera so this round there's quite a few games to talk about and there's some really good matchups as well so let's start off with the first match which is kicking off on thursday night this one is between Manly Warringah and Melbourne. It's being played at Brookfield Oval. Manly sat in 10th at the moment. Melbourne in 2nd. Melbourne have won 7 of the last 10 matches against Manly. The last time that Manly actually beat Melbourne at Brookfield Oval was in round 2, 2015. And they beat them 24 points to 22. Uh, one of the things I've read from this match is that Ryan Pappenhausen will be back for Melbourne. And... Also, I think after a, especially that loss in, in the state of origin, a lot of them Queensland players that were involved in that match, Harry Grant, Kafuse, and uh, I know Munz is on, under a bit of an injury cloud at the moment, but no doubt all of them would be absolutely fuming with losing like that. And they're going to be looking to make a point on their Thursday night. So... I'm going to go for Melbourne to win this match 1-12. I think it's going to, going to be a good match. But I just see uh, Melbourne coming out on top in the end. The first match on the Friday is between Newcastle and the Gold Coast. This one's being played at McDonald Jones Stadium. Newcastle sat in 12th at the moment. And Gold Coast coming dead last. Um, they're officially dead last. New Zealand and the other teams have two competition points more than them. The head-to-head -head between these two sides is quite even, actually. But one thing I notice is that in either the, the last 10 matches that Newcastle have played against the goal coast, the goal coast have scored 24 or more points against them. So they, they certainly love playing against Newcastle and scoring them tries. Also, there's going to be no Ponga for Newcastle. Um, this game's a, a real toss of the coin, you can see, because both sides have been quite poor this year. I don't think many people expected the goal course to be coming dead last at this stage. Um, if, we're, if, we're, if we're at the goal course, I probably would tip the goal course. But for this particular game, I'm going to go for uh, Newcastle to win 1-12 with absolutely no confidence. But um, yeah, I'll just go for Newcastle to win at home there on the Friday. The main match on the Friday is between Penrith and Sydney Roosters. This one's being played at Penrith Park. Penrith, as we all know, league leaders at the moment coming first, and Sydney Roosters coming in ninth. Penrith have won their last five encounters against East. Uh, the last time that East and Suburbs beat Penrith were in uh, round 24, 2019, and they beat them 22 points to six at the Sydney Creek Grounds. Uh, I think this game is, is quite straight, uh, quite, uh, quite straightforward to actually tip. I will go for. Penrith to win this match by 1 to 12 points. I don't think that it'll be a blowout scoreline, but uh, I just don't see East winning, so I'm going to go for Penrith to win 1 to 12 on the Friday. The first match on the Super Saturday is between Calgary Bankstown and Cronulla Sutherland. This one's being played in neutral territory at the Western Sydney Stadium. Canterbury sat in 13th at the moment, and Cronulla sat in 4th. Cronulla's won 7 in the last 10 encounters against Canterbury. Um, Although Canterbury have won their last two games and by some very good margins as well, 13 plus. However, in those two games, they played against a very poor Parramatta side that didn't show up and then they played against the West Tigers. So this will be a massive test for Canterbury to see if them two wins that they got were against poor opposition or we'll have to see how they go against Cronulla who were a well-drilled side and... Um, well, I think we'll definitely play a final this year. For this match, I will go for Cronulla to win 1-12. However, I think Canterbury will give them a game. I think uh, Canterbury's got a lot of confidence at the moment after them two wins. So I will go for Cronulla to win, but uh, I think it'll be a tight one. The second match on 
the Super Saturday, and some people will probably see this as game of the round, is uh, North Queensland against Brisbane, the Queensland derby. North Queensland sat in third at the moment, Brisbane in fifth. Uh, these two sides met earlier in the year, round three, and North Queensland won 38 points to 12 there at Suncorp Stadium. The head-to-head -head between the two sides in this Queensland derby favours Brisbane. Uh, there's been 57 matches played so far. North Queensland have only got the 19 wins. Brisbane's got 36 wins and there's been two draws. But bearing in mind that between 1995 and 2004, up until that finals match, North Queensland had never beaten Brisbane. So that's why the head-to-heads um, favours Brisbane so highly. Uh, for this game, I will go for North Queensland to win 1-12. Uh, I think that this will be a very good match. But North Queensland's defence has been very good this year. And I don't see that changing up there in at Townsville at the Queensland Country Bank Stadium. So I will go for North Queensland to win 1-12. But I definitely think that this could potentially be one of the games of the round. Going into the final match on Super Saturday. It's between South Sydney and Parramatta. This one's being played at Stadium Australia. South Sydney in 7th at the moment. Parramatta in 6th. Another, another very good matchup. Uh, as has been the case for quite a while and even I remember when I was growing up and all that even when Parramatta were very good South Sydney always seemed to give Parramatta a game and most of the time they'd actually win and the, in the last 10 encounters South Sydney's won 6 of them and uh, Parramatta's last win that Stadium Australia come on uh, round 26-2017 they beat them 22 points to 16 and I were at that game uh, that's the year uh, that uh, Parramatta come fourth and South Sydney um, missed the finals. With especially the last few, uh, few times that um, South Sydney played against Parramatta, there have been very big scores for South Sydney. There have been very, very poor matches for Parramatta. So the last four games, South Sydney has won 40 points to 12, 38 20, uh, 38 24, and 38 now. And also the head-to-head -head favour South Sydney overall. There's been 131 matches played. Uh, South Sydney's got the 73 wins. Paramount has got 55 wins and there's been three draws. So the, the overall head-to-head favour South Sydney. For this game, um, I will go for South to win. Latrell Mitchell's coming back. Uh, Paramount don't have a really good record against South. And, uh, and I just have a feeling that South will win. I think they'll win 1 to 12, so I'll, I'll go for South to win 1 to 12 on Super Saturday. The first match on the Sunday is uh, between New Zealand and West Ham. This one's being played at Mount Sports Stadium. This is the first game that New Zealand will be playing at, in New Zealand and at Mount Sports Stadium since August the 30th, 2019, when they played against South Sydney and they lost that match. But ever since then, they haven't played in New Zealand whatsoever. They've had to play in Australia. Uh, New Zealand sat in 15th at the moment. West Ham is in 14th. This is a real bottom of the table clash. Uh, New Zealand's won four of the last... Uh, they've, they've won four games in a row against West Tigers recently. And earlier this year, New Zealand beat West Tigers 16 points to 12 in a very dire, very ordinary game. Uh, unfortunately for West Tigers, though, I think that they're going to be the sacrificial lamb for this game. I remember initially... Uh, New Zealand were meant to play Canterbury, I think, last year in their return game. And I went, God help Canterbury, because they're going to get absolutely uh, battered. But um, this time around, West Tigers have been uh, chosen as a sacrificial lamb to go over there in front of a sold-out New Zealand crowd there in Auckland. Um, I think this could get really ugly for West Tigers if they're not careful. I will go for New Zealand to win 13+. Plus. And um, if by some chance that West Tigers win this game. If New Zealand are not up for this match, when are they ever going to be up for a game? Because how, how much motivation do you need there on the Sunday? And the final game to close out the round is uh, also on the Sunday. And this one's between St George and Cambrai. St George sat in 8th, Cambrai in 11th. This one's being played at Wynn Stadium. Uh, Cambrai have the slight head-to-head -head advantage over St George. They've won six of their last ten encounters against uh, St George there. So this is a real flip of the coin game. This year uh, with Cambria, they're one of them sides where you tip. You tip in the win, they lose. You tip against them, they win. Uh, 
And I don't really see the scheme being any different. I, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if it if tips one way or the other, the other team win. However, going off uh, what happened last week, uh, well, the last time that the NRL was on and St George beat South in, in that fashion at Wynn Stadium, I have to go with St George. They, they've kept the same squad as well. Anthony Griffin's kept the same 17 that won that match. So I'll go for St George to win 1-12 there on the Sunday at Wynn Stadium in Wollongong. So anyways, everyone, that's me tips for round 16 of the 2022 NRL season. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know in the comment section below. Let me know who you're tipping and uh, if you've got any ackers or multis going on, just uh, let us know in the comment section below. I'll be doing some more videos very shortly, maybe another Forgotten Ground uh, from one of the Super League clubs or one of the clubs in England. But thanks for tuning in everyone, thanks for supporting the channel. This has been Rugby League History and I'll catch us all later in the next one. Alright, tatty bye for now.